free update 1.15 has arrived, bringing an array of exciting features from viewing domes for your habitats, a new island map, orangutan brachiation, and new king penguin collar morphs. If you're interested in a detailed overview of all these new additions, then definitely stay tuned. Hey everyone, my name is The Lady Designer, and today we're going to explore all the new content from the upcoming free update 1.15 that is launching next to the Oceania pack, both set to launch on September 19. So without further talking, let's dive right into it. And if you're looking for any specific topic, make sure to use the timestamps in the description of this video. So let's kick things off by diving into the fantastic world of viewing domes. And I've got to admit, like many of you, I'm pretty excited about these. The viewing domes, they look absolutely stunning. And what I appreciate the most is their sheer simplicity when it comes down to placing them in your habitats. But I do have to be honest here, the entrance of the viewing domes, well, it's not quite what I was hoping for. I'm sorry to say this front here, but that entrance is just, uh, it's huge. <laughs> No, don't get me wrong. I'm all for functionality and simplicity when it comes down to placing these things. But why does that entrance have to be so massive? Like in the real world, those tunnels leading to viewing domes and zoos, they're usually like small and narrow, you know, like something you just got to squeeze through or even climb through and duck down or whatever. I do understand that that may not be possible for Planet Zoo, but if only the viewing dome's entrance would have been like two meter high instead of four meter high and maybe two meter wide instead of four meter wide, I would have been so much more happy with it. Like just the size as a keeper's gate, for example. So yeah, I think a lot of us might want to hide these entrances. But the good part is, since these domes are so easy to put down, hiding them is pretty simple too. So even though the entrance is a bit big, I still really like these viewing domes. I mean, just look at them. They're really nice to even look at. And have you really noticed like the, the faces of the guests when they are inside one? Well, it's just so adorable. They're just so excited to be in there and, and they move around following the animals as well so that makes everything look so much more realistic and i absolutely love it that they're really tracking down the animals and like obviously i cannot deny how cool it is that these domes work on the water as well a little side note though like i'm not entirely sure if this happens on the water as well but it seems like some animals might have animations with the viewing domes but i can't say for sure like which animals or something because from the ones that i've tried with the dome inside of the habitat i didn't notice any special animations so that's still going to be a little bit of a surprise for us all at this point but maybe they do mention this on the forums later on when the free update actually launches now there are a few important things to keep in mind when and how to place these viewing domes so i will make sure to upload a complete tutorial to the channel as well with everything you need to know to place down these viewing domes with a few tips and tricks as well. So definitely make sure to check out that video if you want to know more about these viewing domes. Highly recommended. So alongside the viewing domes, Frontier also added brachiation for orangutans in the game. And I have to say, these climbing, hanging, and playing animations look incredibly impressive. The people at Frontier responsible for this did an outstanding job on these animations. It's really exciting to see this. And I truly hope that Frontier will consider adding similar animations and more variations to other monkeys and primates in the game in the future as well. Like this is precisely what many of us have I've been hoping to see for all these type of animals for such a long time. Like actually already, even before the game launched and we saw the first chimpanzee pictures with climbing frames, I remember I was so much hoping for these type of animations. So yeah, I'm just so genuinely super thrilled about these animations. What do you guys think about them? So, um, right. Who else of you just began a new zoo on a tropical island using the ocean diorama map for the Steam Workshop? <laughs> well, poor us, because with free update 1.5, 15, everyone can now dive into the temperate Oceania map in all game modes and it's an actual island. I mean, <laughs> okay. Sorry, not sorry. I'm not going to move my eco island park through this map. However, I am genuinely super excited that Frontier has given us an island map at last. So really a massive thank you to Frontier for that. The island looks so beautiful. Absolutely love it. 
And lucky us, this free update is also bringing us a small variety of new pieces again. It includes a range of new items from a viewing dome sign to what has now quickly become my new personal favorite shrub, the Golden Sand Set, which is available in both regular and dry versions. I am sure I'm going to use these pieces everywhere in my habitat now. <laughs> there are also some very nice new wall plants coming in three different sizes, known as the Kaha Kaha, which you you can actually also use in different ways, like upside down, for example, for your habitat decorations and whatnot. And there's also an entirely new set of volcanic rocks, although I must mention there seems to be a slight difference with the rocks. Like the initial first nine large rock pieces have a pretty weird black texture, if you ask me, while the rest feature a more appealing gray black texture, which I personally prefer more. So I'm hoping this might just be a small error and all the rocks will eventually get that more appealing gray black color variation for the rock set. But yeah, we have to wait and see about that. And this is the new volcanic rock path being added in the free update. The path itself looks insanely beautiful. The wooden curves look super good and oh boy the fences. I am a huge fan of these beautiful fences that come along with this path. The wood, the netting, the ropes on the beams, definitely one of the best path textures we have in a game now if you ask me. What do you guys think? And last but not least, also added during this free update 1.15, although you will need the aquatic pack for this one, are different color morphs for the beautiful king penguin. This free update is adding the melanistic, leucistic, brown and xantic color variation to these amazing birds in the game. Like, I didn't even know these color morphs existed, but I have to say, each one of them looks absolutely stunning. What are your thoughts about these amazing color morphs for the King Penguin? Do let me know in the comments down below. And overall, please do share your thoughts on all these new features of free update 1.15. What are you most excited about? And what's the first thing you'll dive into once you get the update? I'm really looking forward to reading all your comments. Also, be sure to explore the full overview of the Oceania pack with all new pieces and all new animals in the other video that I just uploaded to the channel. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!